Yes, hi, this is Juan Lince, JM Lince Computers. Today I'm going to give like a quick overview on this uh, camera, the PC540. Um, I like it because first you can use it um, with your Wi-Fi network or you, uh, it also has like an Ethernet core, it's easy just to move around and you can control it with your uh, cell phone so you can like uh, look to one spot or another also it allows you to hear and talk so it's a uh, pretty inexpensive just like around 35 dollars i'm going to leave an, an associate link if you want to get it i'll get a little something okay so first i'm going to just uh, show you how to reset it and that way i'll show you also how to configure it so it has a little button here it also has like a little sd card uh, micro sd card so if you want to uh, store the video then you can add one or you can subscribe to their service so it basically will store in the cloud okay so another function that i like is that it can be set uh, for motion detection so it will give you like alerts if somebody step in and you, it might make noise if you want like woo 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 like an alarm okay so when it's like that it's blinking it means that it's ready to be configured basically i just reset it so you open uh, the application you need to download or oh, let me just uh show you which one it is uh, is this one ipc360 so you download that create a username and a password and then click on add a device so here you select in my case is wireless mode it's asking to see if it's blinking so yeah it is blinking so you say next it's very important that your wireless has to be at 2.4G, not the 5. So your, your, your phone needs to be connected to the 2.4G network. So you type in your, your password and then you click next. Okay, so we have to wait until it connects. It will say like ding dong. So let's wait. Okay. Yeah, I did the ding dong. <coughs> Camera ready. Okay, that's good. So you name it. So I'm going to name it business. Okay. Then we can do the navigation picture. So this is what is going to do. I'm just going to start collecting some images just to make it easier for you to point the the camera where you want it to be okay so like you see you have your navigation here so like if if you want uh, the camera to look here you just press like that and it takes you to that point in the room <coughs> here you can listen if you if i press here well it'll be like a little noisy because we're really close yeah let me turn it off and with this one you can talk you can talk you can talk just like that okay so let's uh, go back let's go to settings uh, there's the alerts right here 
you turn it on uh, like if you leave and you want to see if somebody walks in or like at night you can turn on the motion detection and if you want it to make a noise uh, when somebody crosses then you can turn on the the sound so it will sound like an alarm it will also give you like an alert to your phone and you can set up uh, alarm time and sensibility so it's pretty useful I don't want to do this so I go back like I also have one at home <coughs> sorry one at home so let's see if it works yeah, so it seems like somebody's there it's on black and white because there's not a lot of light so okay that's how it works I hope you like it uh, so far it's been working all right uh, for $35 or so um, I wouldn't ask uh, for a lot so yeah quick and expensive solution uh, for an alarm on a camera all in one uh, feel free to use my link and if you like this video uh, if it helps you go ahead and click like and subscribe thank you